With a question like this, we just need to understand the basics of square roots. So the way that square roots work is if you multiply a square root A multiplied by a square root B, then it just becomes the square root of both of those multiplied together. So if I want to if I want to multiply these two square roots, I'm not I'm not talking about this square root and this square root. We'll get to that later. But I'm talking about this square root and this square root. Then it just becomes a big square root, and then you put everything on the inside, like that. You can put in a bracket because we're multiplying them together, like that. Okay. The next step is let's go ahead and multiply out those brackets. So x times x is x squared, and then this would just give us minus x square root 2x minus 1. All right, and then I'm going to multiply this part together, so that's going to give us plus x square root of 2x minus 1. And then we're going to multiply this part and this part together now, so that's going to become minus, and then a square root times a square. If, the, if these two things in the square root are the same, then it just becomes whatever's inside the square root, okay? But you take the square root away. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say you say square root 3 times square root 3. I did try to show this. Um, oh, no, that was actually from a previous thing. Never mind. Um, so square root 3 times square root 3 is the square root of 9, right? If we follow this rule here. But then the square root of 9 is just 3. So what I'm trying to say is that when you multiply the square root of two things that are the same, the answer just becomes that thing. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and neaten up. What I want you to notice is that this part and this part cancels out completely. So what we're left with now is x squared and then minus 2x and then plus 1. Now, if you would go and factorize that, it's going to give you x minus 1 and another x minus 1. Now that is the same as x minus 1 to the power of 2. But now if you have to go use your exponent rules when you are in a square root, you know, like if you have x6 and there's a 2 on the outside, then you always take this side, the number on the inside, divided by the number on the outside. So that's going to give us x minus 1, and then the number on the inside is a 2, and the number on the outside is also a 2. We just don't write it there. So that's all going to cancel out. And so our final answer would actually just be x minus 1.